in part one, I promised hot microscope action, and I plan to deliver. This is an LCD microscope, and it supports PC. Picked it up for a little over $50 US on Amazon, and I'll include an, an affiliate link on the bottom. They didn't pay me for the microscope or anything like that. I just bought it and let's get to it. If you want a review, leave a comment and ask for a video on this. It's designed for, or it's marketed primarily for coin collectors, which I think there's a strong overlap between coin collectors and the kinds of nerds that would watch this channel. Anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna record uh, locally on it. And we're starting up here at the UART connector in the upper right hand corner. And then you can see the edge of the processor. And if we go down here, there's my finger. I'm gonna try and stay smooth. All right, you see the memory. Now those or the firmware. Um, that's that's those are the two most important. And you can see where there's a screw there for the uh, uh, for the camera module. And as we move over, that is a crystal oscillator. And what that does, crystals do vibrate. Whoa, talking about crystal oscillators is a whole rabbit hole in its own, but when you apply a voltage to a quartz crystal, it vibrates at a particular frequency, and we're able to use that to keep track of TikToks. So for a clock, or more specifically here, to help with timing between the components. All right, you can see all the nice traces underpinnings with these uh, capacitors and resistors. Now keep in mind that, and, and I don't quite know yet, but uh, this is most likely a CMOS sensor and the there is at least two um, areas in here where we are going to need to have analog to digital converters because the world around us is analog, right? Uh, the camera is taking in and reading voltages that may or may not need to be smoothed. Audio is definitely analog and has to be digitized. Now there are some analog to digital converter uh, functions that are built into the processor, but they have to be groomed. They have to be brought down to a particular voltage. Um, so they have to be, they have to be prepared to come into the processor. Here we have a little bit more. And, th and that's basically what you're seeing in, in, in some of the circuitry is you're seeing either amplification, smoothing. You might be seeing resistors to be able to kind of cut down the voltage a little bit. Um, so that a particular um, a particular component can read the values as it should. Um, there's some pads right there, and I'm curious what those pads are. I don't know. I don't know everything that's on here yet. Okay, so we're flipping the board over. They really did label this nicely. You can see a nice silk screen. Obviously, it's upside down. I guess I should flip it over. I'm going to say that's the USB port. Yeah, that's the USB port. And we have to be careful when we have a USB port that as we bring in, um, as we bring in those voltages that we have protection, um, you need a, some sort of USB controller. Now I haven't seen one specifically, uh, here yet. I'm, it's likely actually built into that general purpose processor, that system on a chip. These are our LEDs. There are some GPIO pins, general purpose in and out pins on the processor. So it is 
probable that these are controlled via um, a lane going back to the processor. Now, how this camera actually works, uh, I, I really want to dive into that and take this apart further, but at the risk of damaging, um, I'm not going to do that today. Let's see, what else do we have here? And here's the microphone. Microphone um, is just your standard kind of electrolytic microphone. If you recall from the previous video, if you haven't seen the previous video, you should go look at it uh, where I do the initial teardown. Uh, but you have a plus and a minus for the microphone. You apply a voltage. The microphone is essentially a resistor and a variable resistor that reacts to the pressure of the um, sound waves and changes, you know, minute changes in voltage that are excited due to this um, resistor being oscillated due to sound pressure. Anyway, uh, uh, gets interpreted by an analog to digital converter as different stair steps. And then that ends up getting encoded into whatever kind of audio stream. All right, and now we're back around to that UART connector. Super excited about the UART connector. All right. Well, that's our, that's our tour. Going to stop the microscope here. Still learning how to use it. It's very sweet. I'll include some sort of assets there for it. Beep boop.